Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from Stem of PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the show edges uh, functions, the half edge function and the thread holding uh, using Leptonica. Um, why would we do that? Well, we will show edges and, and, and using uh, a low pass filter. Uh, sometimes when we are doing pre-processing of images, uh, whether we are doing smoothing or blurring, in order to uh, average out the noise uh, in an image, and these are, you know, this the this part of the pre-processing of images before we do any other applications. Uh, I'm going to be showing you this uh, the show edges C file, and it's also included in the Leptonica library. As you can see, it's including the old headers. Here is defining the smoothing half edge functions. As you can see, say using a half edge function along with thresholding. So here we're doing the smoothing, and we here we do defining the threshold. Uh, it's in, you need to uh, define you gotta give it an image that you're going to work with but you also gotta give it a, uh, the name of an out file and as you can see that's why you it will take three arguments instead of two if not it will give you this it will throw out this exception here here you take in the first argument and it's gonna create a new file here it takes the second image and it's going to be safe into a it's going to create an R file which here it will be safe into your file uh, try to here is using the big half edge by band pass here it explains it um, these are these are different types of filters it's like a war filter and this is a band pass filter uh, but here is the function that we're using right here and as you can see these are the parameters that it takes and here it explains it more in detail how they're doing this moving and once this is done it goes into here and does the pix threshold to binary threshold and we also explain it here in this one and it's this binary with the parameters as you can see as the pigs and the intended to threshold and that's exactly what they do in the file here so as you can see it's the threshold and here are the other parameters that we saw before it's parameters okay and here saving into the file and it's using uh, you have the choice here to to work with this one if you're working with jpegs or just if you want to stick to png i i'm using png because that's uh, mostly of the default that they use so i'm just sticking to png so now i'm going to show you the image that i'm going to be working with and the reason I picked this image is it's an optical illusion image. So by smoothing it out and blurring it, we will notice things that we didn't notice before. And that's the reason why I chose this image. And we're going to PNG. And it's this image with these two little girls and the rabbit are there in bed holding the rabbit and the lamp there's the lamp here the one little girl and the second little girl with the rabbit and the little you know holding there with their dresses so now i close here and now i apply let me show you the make file you need this make file just in case you didn't watch my other tutorials two lines in the in the make file C, C preprocessor flags and the library flags. Two lines, that's all you need. So in order to do this, uh, follow along with me, you need the show edges C that I show you. You need the make file 
and you know and you need an image any image in this case we're using png i'm sorry it's this image right here so now i use the make and the name of the binary and as you can see it's telling me that it's up to date because it's right there so now I run it and I give it the name of the image but I also have to give it the name of the out file remember it takes it takes three arguments if not you're going to get an error and the name of the uh, is uh, edges png and then hit enter and it will create this one right here so now we we'll look at it display it and it was this one and as you can see it accentuates the other part of the optical illusion that you normally is, was not as clear before. And this is one of those techniques why you would use a blurring, you would use smoothing in certain situations uh, as you do pre-processing before you apply uh, your techniques, your optical character recognition applications. And this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on GitHub and Twitter. And I will see you next time in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.